Hi. What's up? Nothing. You seem kind of upset. Is anything wrong? Have you ever felt about this small? Yeah. I have a big brother. He's a power lifter. He's like 3,000 pounds. He would eat everything in our house, and I never had anything to eat or drink. He drank gallons of milk every day. He used to use my curling iron as a lightsaber, and then it just disappeared. Yeah, well, I've got all that times three brothers and two stinking sisters. I get it. Feeling small isn't the best feeling, but it can be a good thing. It can mean that God thinks you're important and that he's trying to use you. What do you mean? Well, if you think about it, there's, there's David, who is like the smallest in the town, and he was one of the greatest kings of Israel. There's Mary, who was just a young girl, and God used her to bring his son into the world. And then there's Jesus, who was born in a stable, a stinky stable. And he was a carpenter's son, and everyone was like, what, carpenter's son? And then there's a little flower, the little flower. I remember last year in Vacation Bible School, the leader said people fight all the time because they want to be the biggest and the greatest. But Jesus said, if you want to be the greatest, you have to be the least. Exactly. Actually, this week in the Gospel, it says something just like that. Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says that the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. That's the tiniest little seed you can think of. But he says it becomes the greatest plant of all. He says the kingdom of heaven is in our hearts. So really what he's saying is that we have to be small. You know how you guys throw a question out there sometimes for people to answer? Yeah, nobody's answering. Maybe with some faith we could get some answers this time. Okay, people, check this out. Answer it. How did you come to know God through a difficult time in your life? So answer it now. Don't be like those other people who don't answer it. Just answer it. Make a smile. We'll meet you this Sunday at Mass in the Eucharist. And know how truly and deeply God loves you. Set aside your phones, your gadgets, your voices. I don't know how to play this. It's tradition, we must sing a song. Okay, but what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I can do this. <laughs> when you feel so very small, know that Jesus is Lord of all. And sock your brother in the jaw. <laughs> He smites them with a cannonball. And you'll know what great Anna you got. Let's go get ice cream at the mall. What time is that? Let's go. Answer the question, people.